What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. Okay, yeah, it's been a while, guys. I am sorry that, you know, it took me this long to actually come out with another episode of our Pokemon or Emerald walkthrough. But, you know what, I, I guess I do better under uh, pressure, I guess. I don't know. If you guys remember, uh, I did come out with a video, Draven Speaks, and another video on my Pokemon Stadium intro explaining why I was gone for a full month. And, uh, yeah, now we're in crunch mode. In a week, we will be seeing Pokemon Platinum. So, in, with that being said, everything that I'm going to be doing right here, especially for the end game of this whole, uh, this whole walkthrough, it's for time-saving purposes. So, guys, if you have, uh, if you want to say some shitty stuff to me, you could probably keep that comment to yourself because I can clap back even harder. Anywho, so, in our last episode, yeah. We won the Pokemon League, we defeated Wallace, we became champions of the world, and uh, now it is time to, I guess, explore the rest of uh, Hoenn, you know, all the in-games, whatever, you know, the after game. Now, I did mention in my uh, Draven Speaks episode that I will not be going with the, uh, or I will not be doing the hack, uh, the hack portion of this game right here, I will be doing that in a separate series, that way you guys can see what exactly you can find around this area as hacks and all that stuff. Um, hacks being, you know, the the game or the extra stuff that you need with codes and whatnot for the game chart and all that stuff, like uh, getting the second uh, Latios or Latias, uh, the legendary birds from uh, from uh, from Johto, uh, Mew, Deoxys, all that stuff. That will be covered in a separate series. So right here, right now, we're gonna be do the, doing the proper end game right here, and uh, let's go right ahead and uh, do this. Enough talking. So, after defeating uh, Wallace, you're going to be back here, and uh, look at that, your dad's right here, and he's like, hmm, hey, it's Draven. It's been a while since I saw you, but you look stronger somehow. That's an impression I get, but your old man hasn't given up yet. Oh, yes, I have something for you. This came to you from someone named Mr. Briny. We get ourselves the SS ticket. Yeah, look at that. And he's like, hmm, a ticket from a fairy. If I recall, there are fairy ports in Slateport and Lily Cove. And uh, then Mama's coming in and she's like, I better get back to the Petalburg gym. Mom, thanks for looking after the house while I'm away. Huh. You know, she does have a name. Uh, and yeah, you didn't really move with us. I, I'm just saying, you know, we could have moved to Petalburg. Yeah, but, you know, who, who am I to say? You know, I'm not judging. Whatever. So Mama's like, that dad of yours, he comes for a first time in a while, but all he talks about is Pokemon. He should relax and stay a little longer. Now, after saying that, our TV just like turns on and uh, there's some breaking news right now and as you can see we bring to you an emergency news flash in various uh, Hoenn locales there have been uh, reports of a bzz, colored Pokemon in flight the identity of this Pokemon is currently unknown we now return to you to the regular movie program hmm, okay so if you guys are playing Pokemon Emerald of course you already know that they're like they've added a lot of stuff to this whole game right here one of which is you can actually choose which Latias you can actually capture. Uh, in Pokemon Sapphire, you can capture Latias, and in Pokemon Ruby, Latios. Right here, like I said, you can actually pick which, uh, whichever color you you want. Now, don't think that you can't capture uh, you can't capture the other Lati. Like I said, I'm doing a separate series in how to get that other Lati through the Pokemon codes that, you know, have been distributed at the time. So, uh, let's see. I like color, I like the color blue, so I'm going to go with Latios right here. It's a blue Pokemon. Well, isn't that something? There is still unknown Pokemon. Okay, well, that's pretty much it. Now, we're going to go outside and, you know, there's going to be a few people waiting for us right here. Look at that, Professor Bird. She's like, well, well, Draven, that was good work out there. I knew that there was something special about you when I first saw you, but I never expected this. Oh yes, do you still have your Pokedex I gave you? I have something for to show you in the lab. Let's go. So after the after the you know the long walk to the lab, he's like, now, Draven, May, I've had uh, to help me or I have the I've had the two of you help uh, me study Pokemon. Thanks to your help, new facts are coming in under, into light. It appears that the in the Hoenn region there are also Pokemon from other regions. It goes to show how rich and varied the natural environments of Hoenn happen to be. That's why I think it's necessary to upgrade your Pokedex to the national mode. Here, let me take your Pokedex Unix. Units, I should say. Not Unix. Units. Units. I said units, guys. 
calm your titties down. And he's like, or May's like, hey, 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 it's so cool, it's so cool that even my Pokedex is getting updated. It's because you went out and caught so many Pokemon, Draven. And uh, well, okay, let's get this. And Professor Burke's like, okay, all done. We get ourselves the National Dex mode, and he's like, but listen, you've become the Pokemon champion. Your Pokemon journey isn't over. There's no end to the road of Pokemon. Somewhere there is a grassy patch that's waiting for you. Sounds kind of a, you know, it's like a preview or whatnot. I don't even know. But now we finally got the uh, National Dex that enables us to actually capture Pokemon uh, from other regions such as Kanto and Johto. Uh, part of this after game series, you will actually see, you know, some newer Pokemon. And as you can see, we, we've, we've seen quite a few Pokemon from the Johto or the Kanto region. Johto, not so much, I think. Yeah, we only seen like maybe three. Four, five, six, seven. Uh, yeah, we haven't seen a lot of uh, Johto Pokemon. So now it's time to go on to the next thing right here. Now take a few steps after this. A few steps. And we get our phone call. And hi, hi, hi. Oh, Draven, it's me, Scott. I'm aboard the SS Tile now. It feels great to be on the sea. By the way, there's this place that I'd like to, uh, to, like to invite you for a visit. If you're interested, board a ferry e at either Slayport or Lily Cove. I'll fill you in in the details when we meet. I'll be waiting. Alrighty. Okay, so that is exactly what we're gonna. That is exactly what we're gonna do right here. And uh, let's see. We're gonna be flying straight to Slayport since it's close by. And uh, we're gonna go meet that guy right there. So right there we can go right here and here's where we're gonna go for the SS title as you can see the SS title is ready for us talk to uh, Captain Stern he's like Draven we finally finished making the fairy SS title we couldn't have done it without your friend mr. Briny please go in for a uh, please go for a short cruise on it okay so we're gonna go right here talk to this lady she's like hello are you here for the ferry may I see your ticket hell yes and uh, Let's see, we're showing the ticket and that's all we need. And we're gonna go straight to Lily Cove City for right now. And uh, I don't know how we entered that. I really don't. Thank God for Oraz, right? And as you can see, Scott's walking towards us like, well, hi, hi, Draven, Draven. Something come up, something can come up, or something's come up, so I have to disembark. But I am glad to see you. Congratulations, League Champion. There's a place I'd like you uh, like to invite someone like you. It's called the Battle Frontier. What's that place like? You'll understand when you see it. I've spoken with the ship's captain about this. The next time you uh, take the ferry, you should be able to sail to the Battle Frontier. Okay, Draven, I'll be waiting for you at the Battle Frontier. Okay, okay, so I think we already know what we're going to do probably in the next episode. So, what we're going to do right now is we're going to be battling a buttload of trainers right here. Uh, yeah, there's going to be like six trainers or something. So, let's go ahead and just beat everybody right here. Now, you got a couple right here. She's like, ah, I feel silly, but we'll show you our lovey-dovey power. Okay, let's see what kind of lovey-dovey power you have. I'm pretty sure it's a lovey and dovey. So they come out with love disc, and I got the perfect team for you too. Noob Saiba and Shroom Lee. Who would win in the battle? I don't know. Thunderbolt on you, and Giga Drain on you. So eat that. Let's go. Let's go. Eat it. America. That is American. Oh god, that is American as, as fuck right there. And uh, getting experience points just because we're, we're awesome like that. And there's that Giga Drain that we've been talking about. Pretty cool, huh? And, uh, well, huh, you've been defeated. That's right, you've been defeated so easily. I am the most powerful Pokemon ever. And, uh, let's see, Young Couple has been defeated. And, uh, okay, so that's pretty much it right there. I'm gonna move out of this place and just go right here. There's quite a few trainers that you can actually find in here. Uh, that, this probably is our room. I don't know. And then if you go in here, there's another trainer waiting for us. He's like, Ah, you've ju you come just in time. I'm bored. You see, uh, you can entertain me. Of course, I kind of like, you know, a lot of these guys like to, uh, you know, BS. You know, rich people, they think that, you know, we, the little people, will entertain them for their, for their, their purposes and whatnot. So, whatever. Let's go. Thunderbolt. That's right. Thunderbolt attack. 
destroys you. Yeah. No, it doesn't. Azumarill's still pretty strong, but you know, you effed up right there because you did the Rain Dance. So the Rain Dance will be destroyed in just a little bit. Here we go. Thunderbolt. No! This guy uses his full restore. But I think this will actually work, right? Will it work? So here we go. Thunderbolt for the win. There we go. And... That is how... Oh, well, well, you almost defeated him. Okay. Let's do this one more time. I thought that would actually boost our, our Thunderbolt power. I don't know. Alrighty. There we go. And that's how you defeat an Azumarill. That's actually how you win Pokemon battles right there. My noob Sebat destroys you. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch up our Pokemon right here. Um, let's go with Skyblade. It's been a while since I've seen you. You know, we need to work off the rust because, you know, hey, we've been a little rusty since uh, for a month. And so, oh wow, this guy may have a, a main neck trick. So well, let's go straight to Swamp Lord right here. And, uh,. Let's go. Let's do this. Bring it. Ah, your fr or are your friends strong? You must be talking about my Pokemon, so let's do this. Let's see if our friends are pretty strong right here. And this guy, his name is Maka Micah. Coming out with his um, main night trick. And I'm coming out with Swamp Lord. Swamp Lord's looking pretty badass. And uh, here we go with an earthquake. Oh, yeah. How about that? How about that? Oh, yeah. Bye bye, main night trick. Yes, looking like a pimp right here, and uh, I'm gonna still stay with Swamp Lord because I will destroy you with Swamp Lord Earthquake. There we go. Yeah, Swamp Lord's a pretty bad, like it's a pretty badass Pokemon. I'm actually glad that you guys chose a Mudkip for me, really do, because it did the miracles for me when I'm actually doing this walk right here. And as you can see, defeated, made you look so bad. Yeah, my friends are strong. That's right. Okay, so let's move on to the next thing right here. I think uh, there's like maybe four, four more trainers left. I don't know. Talk to this guy. Go visit the other cabins. Trainers bored of the boat trip will tr be itching for a battle. Okay. Uh, so before we do anything, let's go ahead and talk to this guy here. He's like, oh, Mr. Briny, welcome aboard, Draven. They made me honorary captain of the SS title. You can call me Captain Briny now. You know, I retired once before, but when I saw this majestic ship, mm mm mm, let's just say I had stirred my sleeping soul as a sailor. Oh, that's great. That's good. Alrighty. Good for you. You know, you got yourself a new job, all that stuff, insurance and whatnot. You know, you need insurance, you know, especially at that age. Talk to this guy. He's like, uh, hi, I, I, I'm acting, I'm not actually suspicious. Uh, you can have this for free. Honestly, I didn't snatch it from any someone. I'd never do such a thing. It's clean. You can use it. And we get ourselves the TM-49, which is actually Snatch. And, uh, well, if you guys don't know, Snatch actually takes takes a held item from any Pokemon that you're battling, which, you know, could, could be beneficial for you. You could get, like, new berries or whatnot. And, uh, here we go. And we're gonna take on this guy here. He's like, Child, did you knock the door? No, we didn't. I, I didn't feel like, you know... I didn't feel like knocking, so here we go. Thomas wants to battle. He's coming out with his Zangusi, and I'm gonna come out with Swamp Lord right here. Swamp Lord's looking like a pimp. Look at that. And, uh, you know, I kinda want. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go with Dynamic Punch. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. I, I, I honestly thought it was gonna hit, but you know what? First time's the best time, right? Ain't that right? Giggity. And look at that. Swamp Lord grows to level 63. And Thomas has been defeated. A loss is accepted without haste or panic. Wow, this guy is like uh, Lord Lord Buzzing Buzzkill or you know whatever, whatever in Family Guy. To be never ruffled in any situation is a gentleman's code of conduct. Yeah, he's a uh, Buzz Killington. That's what his name is, Buzz Killington. What's up, Pico? And uh, let's see, you know what? I think I should, I should switch my Pokemon to uh, Skyblade right here. I missed you. I missed you, uh, knife-wielding chicken. And here we go. Oh, you're such an adorable trainer. Would you like to have tea? Or would you rather battle? Why not both? I'm just saying, you know, I could do both. I would love to do both. So here we go. Lady Naomi wants the battle, and she's coming out with a Roselia. And I'm coming out with this guy right here. That's right. The pimp of the sky. Skyblade. 
There we go. Air cutter. Eat it. Hell yeah. Oh yeah. I feel good about myself. You know, just beating everybody right here. Lady Naomi has been defeated, and yes, I am an active sport. I am a huge sport. So moving on forward right here. Lexi. I think we got one more trainer before we can go down to, onto the dock right here. Now, if you talk to this guy, I often sail to Lily Cove City. I enjoy attending contests, you see. Huh, okay. Pretty cool, dude, I guess. I don't know. I really don't know. Alrighty, so, Pokefan Colton wants the battle, and this is the dude that has, what, five skitties and probably one Del Caddy? Could be wrong. Anywho, uh. Ah, oh, crud. Okay, so I'm in a, little, a bit of a pickle, but hopefully this air cutter will actually do it because I'm thinking about that thing that makes my Pokemon attract to Skitty, and I don't want to get that. So, coming out with the Skitty, I should go with a female Pokemon. So, let's go with Shroomly right here. This is a battle for Shroomly. It's been a while, Shroomly. Look at that. Shroomly and his sombrero of death. Sky uppercut right here. Uh, look at that. Sky Uppercut does it. It's a Shoryuken of the Street Fighter thingy. Look at that. Pokemon are looking cool. Pimpy. And a, she's gonna, he's going to come out with another Skitty. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to defeat you. I'm going to end you right now, Skitty. With the Sky Uppercut. Oh, uh, yeah. Feels good. Feels great. Eat it, Skitty. That's right. That's right. I'm feeling good. And then, uh, coming out with another Skitty. Yeah. Oh my god. You know, you could capture more Pokemon, you know, other than Skitty. But if you like your cats, you know, there are other cat Pokemon. I'm just saying. More cat Pokemon. And, uh, well, there we go. Get it. Do it. That's how you do it. Coming out with another Pokemon, and that's another Skitty. Well, another Skitty. Here we go. Sky Uppercut. Shaw you can. Oh yeah. KO. Oh yeah, feeling good, feeling great. That's the way to do it. And he's finally coming out with his Del Caddy. And uh, that's an ugly, that's an ugly shriek. But here we go. Sure, you can. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. I should, I should probably add that, that you know, that sound effect, just to make this whole interesting. And uh, well, Colton's been defeated. I feel great because I'm kicking everybody's butt right here, and I think that's all the Pokemon trainers here. I don't think there's anything special about this place, except just, you know, finding people. Hmm. Well, you can battle that guy. So, I'm going to be switching it up right here. I'm going to go with Guy of the Fierce Knight. Again, it's been a while. And uh, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. He's like, oh, I'm, fed up doing, uh, I'm fed up and dog tired of cleaning this huge place. Let's have a quick battle. All right. Bring it. Just bring it. And, uh, well, would you look at that. We're digging on a sailor, and he's coming out with his Tentacruel. Oh, man. Tentacruel. I remember when I had one. It looked pretty cool. And, uh, good for us, because here we go with a Psychic Attack. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. That's how you beat this guy right here. I just ended you. With a freaking, uh, with a freaking Pokemon with a dress. And he's coming out with a Macho. That's always good right there. That is always good. And, uh, well, let's go again. Another, let's go with the Psychic right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Super effective. Just how we like it. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so that is how we beat this guy right here. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's talk to this guy. We're cleanup brothers. Uh, the old one dumps the detergent, and the young ones do the scrubbing. Okay, so pretty much how any kind of young brother uh, brother relationship would uh, do. And I think you can actually find an item around here. Just don't want to get caught by this guy right here. And that is empty. Let's move on forward. And we found ourselves the leftovers, which could be useful. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and... You know what? I'm going to stay with Gaia because, uh... Yeah, I'm going to stay with Gaia because this guy, you know, whatever. Might have fighting type Pokemon. This is the bottom of the ship's hole. There's plenty of room. It'll be all right for a Pokemon battle. You know, just looking at this doesn't really look pretty, uh... Yeah, it doesn't really look, uh, too convincing or big or anything like that. So, here we go with Gaia the Fierce Knight. Gaia the Fierce Knight's tracing and, uh, well, 
Let's go with the psychic attack right here. Oh, yeah. How you like that? That's right. I'm doing it. I'm kicking your butt. Oh, yeah. Feeling great about that. And, uh, well, I'm going to just stay with my Pokemon right here. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. And he's coming out with a Pelipper, so let's go right ahead and use that Psychic Attack into Crud. Well, he, he could always do that. Alright. Let's go again, Psychic Attack, and that will actually work. Oh yeah. That's right. That's how you do it. That's how you beat somebody. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty, and he's coming out with a Monjoke, so I'm going to just stay with the Pokemon that I have right now. And uh, we're going to do this. Another psychic attack. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We're gonna do that. And uh, that is how you defeat a Machoke right there. Pretty simple, guys. Very, very simple. And uh, Sailor Leonard is just like, bro, I lost. Uh, okay, so I guess that's both of them, I think? I don't even know. Let's see. Let's talk to this guy. He's like, we're the cleanup brothers. The old one dumps the detergent and the young ones do the scrubbing. Okay, so there should be a third one here. Huh. Never mind. Never mind. Let's get the heck out of here. Um, okay, so I think... Okay, so we're done. Yeah, okay, so we're pretty much done right there. So we did all our walking. Talk to this guy. He's like, it'll be some time before we make land, I reckon. You can rest up in your cabin, and uh, your cabin is number two. The bed there is soft and plushy, and I can attest to how comfy it is. Okay, so you were sleeping on my, on my cabin, you jerk. Okay. Right here. And I was right, this is actually our cabin, so let's go ahead and take a nice rest. Look at that, we're taking a nice rest. And after that, we have made land uh, in Lily Cove. Thank you for sailing with us. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. That's good, good stuff. Alright, talk to this guy, we've arrived. And we are back in Lily Cove, which is cool. Great gravy. Okay, so, um, now that we're in Lily Cove, uh, shoot. I, I, I might as well do uh, something pretty close, or the next episode will consist of this next thing. So, what we're going to do, guys, we're going to do some side quests and all that stuff, then capture the legendary Pokemon. Again, like I said before, a lot of the stuff that I will be doing in the after game right here is for time-related purposes. That way we can get done with this and then go straight to Pokemon Platinum. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. See you guys. <laughs>